This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's Foothill <laughs> taking on the Meadows. This is Varsity Quiz. Hello and welcome to the 53rd season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and the brightest high school students match wits in this unique academic competition. We hope you know that there are now two Varsity Quiz leagues in each season's competition. We crowned a Blue League champion a couple of weeks ago, so now the road to the Silver League title begins here with Foothill facing the Meadows. Now Foothill finished fourth in their division. Their starters are Savi, hi Savi, Sam, Molly, and Kenning. Hi, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the team from Foothill. <laughs> now for the Meadows, they were part of a three-way tie for first in their division. The starters for the Meadows. There's Kira. Hi, Kira. Sam, Raul, and Ben, the starters for the Meadows. <laughs> Our coaches today for Foothill, Sherry Smith and Teresa Saxon. For the Meadows, Tom Garvey and Gary Handley. There are 25 questions in this first round with each correct answer worth five points. There is going to be a five point deduction if a team incorrectly answers a question before it has been fully read. Students, are you ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. What word has a double meaning in this epitaph? Here sleeps Master John Gill, by lies when alive this attorney did thrive. And now that he's dead, he lies Foothill Sam. Lies. Yes. Points on the board for Foothill. Next question. The following are measurements using which scale? 10, leaves rustling. 30, normal conversation. 50, normal restaurant. <laughs> That'll be Foothill Sam. Decibels. Yes. Let's go to question three. What kind of symmetry is associated with sessile animals such as the sea anemone, floating animals such as jellyfish, and slow moving organisms such as starfish? Meadows, Ben? Radial. Yes. Points on the board for the Meadows. In the famed Hatfield-McCoy feud of the 19th century, what was the home state of the McCoys? <laughs> the Meadows, Ben? Kentucky. Yes. Associate Justice Stephen Breyer announced his retirement at the end of this term of the Supreme Court. Who nominated Breyer? <laughs> Meadows, Ben? Bill Clinton. Yes. What county, uh, make that what country, is just to the northwest of the country that was formerly known as Ceylon. <laughs> Meadows, Ben? Myanmar. Incorrect. <laughs> Did they get in before the time? No, go ahead. Okay, Foothill, Sam? Iran? No, we're looking for India. No points. Next question is a calculation question. Maggie bought a new Maserati while visiting the Strip. The Quattroport's list price, $111,355. To the nearest dollar, how much sales tax will Maggie have to pay for her new car? Repeating, Maggie bought a new Maserati on the Strip. The Quattro reports list price, $111,355. To the nearest dollar, how much sales tax will Maggie have to pay for her new car? Time. We're looking for $9,326, but I don't think anybody's buying a Maserati. Next question. What famous seascape by Winslow Homer was named for the warm ocean current that flows from the Gulf of Mexico through the Straits of Florida, then into the northern Atlantic? The Meadows, Ben? The Gulf Stream. Yes. The oldest service academy is in West Point, New York. Where's the newest academy located? The Meadows, Ben? Uh, Cold Springs, Colorado. Incorrect. A, the correct answer is Colorado Springs, Colorado. Next question. Which classic novel by Eric Maria Remarque had the distinction of being one of the first to be burned by the National Socialist after they came to power in Germany? All quiet on the Western Front. Next question. In this sentence, focus on what's right in your world instead of what's wrong. The word instead is what part of speech? We'll go with the Meadows, Kira. A correlative. 
Incorrect. Uh, Foothill, Sam? Preposition. No, it's an adverb. Next question. What name did the Gilbert and Ellis Islands take when they became independent in 1978? The Meadows, Ben? The Seychelles. Incorrect. We're looking for Tuvalu or Tuvalu. No points. Next question. These mountain passes are in what state? Bridger Pass. Powder River Pass, South Pass, and Teton Pass. The Meadows, Ben. Wyoming. Yes. Next is a calculation question. In ancient Greece, there were six obols in one drachma, 94 drachmas in one mina, and 60 minas in one talent. How many obols in one talent? Repeating, ancient Greece, six obols in one drachma, 94 drachmas in one mina, 60 minas in one talent. How many obols in one talent? The Meadows, Sam? 33,840. Your answer one more time? 33,840. That is correct. All right, next question. In 1927, Nicola Sacco and Bartolomeo Vanzetti were executed for their roles in the robbery of a shoe factory that ended with a paymaster and a guard dead. Which state put those men to death? The Meadows, Ben? New York. Incorrect. Foothill, Sam? Texas. No, it was Massachusetts. What caused the deaths of the following people? Roald Amundsen. Bessie Coleman, Frederick Banting, Audie Murphy, Otto Lilithal, and John Denver. The Meadows, Ben? Plane crash. Yes. Reword this line in future perfect tense. Many are called. The Meadows, Kira? Many would have been called. I don't know if we can accept that, no? Foothill, Kenning? Uh, many would be called? Incorrect. We're looking for many will have been called. No points. Next question. In relation to rivers, what's the opposite of a tributary? The Meadows, Ben? Source River. Incorrect. It is a distributary. Next question. Name the Aaron Copeland Ballet about an enduring kind of competition originally associated with the Old West. The Meadows, Ben. Duel. Duel. No. Worth a listen, Rodeo or Rodeo. Next question. In 2002, Spirited Away won the Academy Award for the Best Animated Feature Film. Now, it's the only film from which style? Foothill Sam? Anime. Yes. Next is a calculation question. A point on the rim of a wheel with a diameter of 15 feet is turning at 110 revolutions per second. In terms of pi, what is the linear speed of the wheel? Repeating, a point on the rim of a wheel with a diameter of 15 feet is turning at 110 revolutions per second. In terms of pi, what's the linear speed of the wheel? I can't tell if they got in in time. Okay, we'll tell you. Meadows, Sam. 1,650 pi. No, judge says incorrect. And we're out of time. So it was 1,650 pi feet per second, because that's one of the requirements. Next question. Most of the world's top 10 most venomous snakes are found on what continent? The Meadows, Ben. Australia. Yes. Which country tried to bill the United States $2 million for the care of Otto Warmbler, the American who died shortly after being returned from captivity in that country? The Meadows, Raul. North Korea. Yes. Often used in allusions, what Spanish character central to a satiric poem by Lord Byron describes a womanizer? Foothill, Sam. Don Quixote. No? No. The Meadows, Ben. Yes, it's a Don Juan. Next question. What famed American industrialist and philanthropist said, a library outranks any other? The Meadows, Ben? Carnegie. Yes, that's the end of round one. But before we go, we wanted to take a moment and get to learn more about our players. We're going to start with the students from Foothill, and we say hello to sophomore Savi. Hi, Savi. Hi. Nice to have you here. On your bio sheet, it says that there's a thing that you know random things about. What is that? Really any TV show. 
Any TV show? Wow, so you're a TV fan. Well, hopefully you're a fan of Varsity Quiz, and we wish you luck with that, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thank you, Savi. Here is a senior, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey. It says that you have a unique mode of transportation. Yeah. What, what is your mode of transportation? Uh, it's a unicycle. It's like a bike, but in half. It's half of a bicycle, yeah. <laughs> Do you use that frequently? I mean, I try to. It's just not very practical, you know. Okay, yeah, exactly. Well, good luck with that. Good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. Here's 11th grader Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi. Nice to have you here. I understand that you are in the band at Foothill? Yes, I'm what, in band. What do you play? I play uh, euphonium. So are you in the marching band? I am. Were you part of the East-West Shrine game that was at Allegiant Stadium? I was. Wow, how cool was that? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, good luck with band and good luck in Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Molly. And here's 11th grader Kenning. Hi, Kenning. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, what is going on with orchestra? Do you play an instrument? Yes, I do. I play the violin. How long have you been doing that? Um, since sixth grade. You going to keep it up? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Good luck with that. Good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our students from Foothill High School. <laughs> now let's meet our players from the Meadows. We'll start with 11th grader Kira. Hi, Kira. Hello. Tell me about the languages that you have taken and what you hope to take in the future. Yeah, I have uh, gone through three different language courses at, at Meadows, so Spanish, French, and Latin. Um, and next year I'm hoping I can take the ancient Greek class if they offer it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot. Because you, know you know what they say, Gira, Kira. It's Greek to me. Yeah. It's <laughs> good luck to you so and good Latin. luck at your varsity quiz. Uh, here's 11th grader Sam. Hi, Sam. Hello. This says that uh, you are very excited about how you spend your free time. Do you remember what you wrote? I do. What did you write? I spend my time looking at research papers. <laughs> you spend your free time reading research papers. Yes. Wow. Have fun with that, Sam. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. But I bet you learn stuff, so that's a good thing, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Here is senior Raul. Hi, Raul. Hello. Nice to have you with us. Uh, tell me about some of the things that you do. Uh, you say you, I think you, you, <laughs> case law, something about case law? Yeah, so I, I'm like him. I read stuff, but it's not research papers. It's like Supreme Court yeah. decisions, uh, bills, stuff like that. Are you going to become an attorney, Raul? Yeah. Okay, well, good luck with that. And good luck here in Varsity Quiz. No, that, you go for it, man. Here is 10th grader Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi. Nice to have you with us. Now, it says here that you have, uh, one of the things you do over there is, is football. Is there a football team at the Meadows? Oh, yes, there is. Uh, we got second place in state this year, uh, last year. Wow. Hey, congratulations. Good luck with that and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, the students from the Meadows. And our bonus round is coming right up. The score as we go into round two, Foothill has 15 points to the Meadows, 55. Now both teams are keeping their same player. So in this bonus round, each of 10 possible questions is worth five points. Now the team with the correct answer gets two bonus questions, each worth five points. Team conferring will be allowed on the bonus questions with 10 seconds allowed before we ask for the response from the team's captain. Now this round is tied at six minutes, which starts as I start this question. The Baseball Writers Association of America elected only one player for induction into the Hall of Fame in January of 2022. Name the former designated hitter whose resume rested upon his postseason heroics, including three World Series titles. The Meadows, Ben. Uh, Big Poppy. Can we accept that? I think we can. Yeah, that was David Ortiz, Big Poppy. Okay, bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Answer the following about the Baseball Hall of Fame. First, the National Baseball Hall of Fame is located in which town that sits on land that was a farm that belonged to James Fenimore Cooper? Second, two of the most famous players of the 1980s and 1990s did not get into the Hall of Fame in their last year of eligibility. Name either one. You have 10 seconds. Uh, Cooperstown and I want to say, uh, let's just go with Jeter. I don't know. Who? Jeter. So. <laughs> All right. For the first, Cooperstown. For the second, Jeter. Uh, Cooperstown is correct. The other two were either Roger Clemens or Barry Bonds. So you get some bonus points, but not all of them. And now this question for both teams. It's a calculation question. Given that the half-life of titanium-44 is 63 years, how much of a sample of this element will still be radioactive at the end of four years? Repeating. The half-life of titanium-44 is 63 years. How much of a sample of this element will still be radioactive at the end of four years? Mm -hmm. 
No answer. We're looking for 1 16th. We move to the next question for both teams. Which city and early national capital was home to the busiest port of the colonial and early republic periods? The Meadows, Ben. New York. Incorrect. Foothill, Sam. Boston. No, we're looking for Philadelphia. Next question. What first name was shared by America's first published poet, the second and fourth wives of Henry VIII, Shakespeare's wife, and Helen Keller's The Meadows, Ben? And? Yes, bonus questions now for The Meadows only. Answer the following about names. First, what Russian name completes this palindrome? Ah, Satan sees blank. And second, in 1988, a woman became the first female prime minister of a Muslim nation, the same position that her grandfather held. Her father was then elected president of the country. What surname did these three leaders of Pakistan share? You have 10 seconds. Bilbuto, uh, Satan sees. Natasha. All right, for the first, Natasha, for the second, Puto. Both are correct. You got bonus points. Now this question for both teams. A benzene molecule has a ring of how many carbon? The Meadows, Sam? Six. Yes, bonus question is now for the Meadows only. Answer the following about chemistry. First, alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes belong to what functional group of organic compounds? Second, chemically speaking, deliquescence is the conversion of a solid substance into a liquid due to the absorption of what in the air? You have 10 seconds. Metals. Metals. Captain? Uh, for the first, metals for the second, water? Uh, the first is hydrocarbons, and the second is correct. It's actually water vapor, but we'll give you some bonus points on that one. Now this question for both teams. In 2019, which company announced the temporary suspension of operations of the entire global fleet of its 737 MAX aircraft? That's the Meadows, Ben. Boeing. Yes, bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Answer the following about transportation. First. Aristotle Socrates Onassis, the eventual husband of Jackie Kennedy, made his fortune in what industry? Second, what's the term for the 19th century horse-drawn family four-wheeled vehicles with at least two long seats and often a fringed canopy top? Wait, you have 10 seconds. Like kind of stove wagon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, for the first, shipping. For the second, the Conestoga wagon. Shipping is correct. The canopy is the Surrey. So some bonus points, but not all. And this question for both teams is a calculation question. Now, old Zeke has a bath every four days, while old Gus bathes every third day. Now, if both of them bathed on Monday, on what day of the week will they both be bathing on the same day again? Repeating, Zeke has a bath every fourth day, Gus bathes every third day. If both of them bathed on Monday, on what day of the week will they both be bathing on the same day again? And that's the Meadows, Ben. Saturday. Yes, bonus questions for the Meadows only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, if the ratio of the sides of a quadrilateral is 2 to 2 to 3 to 5, and the largest side is 20, what's the perimeter? Second, What's the limit as x goes to 0 on the sine of 5x over x? Repeating, if the ratio of the sides of a quadrilateral is 2 to 2 to 3 to 5, and the largest side is 20, what's the perimeter? And second, what's the limit as x goes to 0 of the sine of 5x over x? 10 seconds. Say it in a For the first? I think so. Okay, and the second one. Captain? Uh, for the first, 48. For the second, 1. 48 is correct. The second answer was 5, so you get some bonus points. Now that is the end of the second round. Before we go, we want to take a moment to say thank you to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. Now they help provide judges for the in-school competitions that led up to where we are here in the Vegas PBS studio. Also a big shout out to the staff and the leadership of the Clark County School District's Student Activities Department. They coordinate every single step of this program from early in the school year all the way to the championships. Speed round, coming up. Going into round three, the score of Foothill with 15 points to the Meadows, 110. Now in this third round, the speed round, anything can happen. We've got 30 questions, and here we go. In mechanics, what's the term for the component of a contact force that is perpendicular to the surface that an object contacts? 
Uh, the Meadows, Kira? Normal. Yes. In the 1850s, President Fillmore sent what American Commodore to establish the Meadows, Raul? Matthew Perry. Yes. A Saginaw base, part of which of the Great Lakes? The Meadows, Ben? Huron. Yes. From the titles of two Jules Verne novels, what's the sum of the days to circumnavigate the Earth and the number of leagues a submarine traveled? The Meadows, Ben? 20,080. Yes. The gas used in the lighting of London in the 1810s was produced from the large-scale gasification of what substance? The Meadows, Ben? Coal. Yes. Sales tax, property tax, flat tax, and user fees affect low-income consumers more than those with high incomes. Therefore, unlike income taxes, these taxes are described as what? The Meadows, Raul? Regressive. Yes. What type of mustard is associated with a city in France? Foothill Sam. Dijon mustard. Uh, pardon me, have you any great poupon? Yes. Right. What kind of warts usually occur on the lower surfaces of feet and toes? Foothill Sam. Bunion? No. The Meadows, Ben? Planter. Yes. Calculation question, we don't repeat in this round. Please divide the number of faces on four icosahedrons by the number of faces on two tetrahedrons. Should we give it a shot? Okay, the foothill, Sam. Six? Nope, we're looking for 10. Next question, Spain sent many political activists into exile during whose dictatorial military regime between 1939 and 1975? The Meadows, Raul. Francisco Franco. Yes. What German physicist said that the more accurately the position of a particle is specified, the less accurately its momentum can be known, and that we can never be exactly sure of both? The Meadows, Ben. Uh, von Braun. Incorrect. Foothill, Sam. Albert Einstein. Nope, it's Heisenberg. Next question. Subarctic regions lie just south of which latitude? Uh, the Meadows, Ben? The Tropic of Capricorn. Incorrect. We're looking for 66 and a half degrees north or the Arctic Circle. Uh, atherosclerosis is the deposition of plaques with cholesterol and lipids on the wall of which anatomical structures? Uh, the Meadows, Ben? Veins. Incorrect. Foothill, Sam? Blood vessels. Incorrect. We're looking for arteries. Uh, what's another name for potassium nitrate? The Meadows, Ben? Uh, KNO3. Incorrect. Oh, we're looking for salt, Peter. Next question. During which war was Daniel Boone a supply wagon driver and George Washington a colonel in the provincial militia? The Meadows, Ben? Seven years war. Incorrect. It was the French and Indian War. You were after the buzzer there, Sam. Thank you. Next question. Which two kingdoms were the belligerents in the Battle of Stirling Bridge? Uh, Foothill, Sam. England and France. Uh. No. England and Scotland. Next question. What was the preferred food of the mares of Diomedes that Hercules was to steal? The Meadows, Kira. The Golden Apples. Incorrect. Foothill, Sam. Uh, the cows of Apollo? No, it was humans. Next question. What form of government is illustrated by a high school student council in which the positions are all occupied by members of a particular clique? The Meadows, Ben. Oligarchy. Yes. Each sign of the zodiac spans how many degrees of celestial longitude? Foothill, Molly. 360. No. Meadows, Ben? 16. No, it's 30. Next question. Which state has a region called Sinkhole Alley? The Meadows, Ben? Florida. Yes. A law enforcement agency may issue a BOLO. What's that acronym mean? Uh, be on the lookout. What demon from German folklore is central in the Faust legend? The Meadows, Kira? Mephisto. I don't think we can accept that, no? Oh. Mephistopheles is what we needed. What capital letter symbolizes atomic number? The Meadows, Ben? A. Incorrect. We're looking for Z. What World War II aircraft were nicknamed by those riding in them as silent wings? 
flying coffins and tow targets. The Meadows, Ben. B-52s. No. Uh, Foothill, Savi. Suicide bombers. No, they were gliders. Next question, what do geologists call the progressive buildup of a river channel bed due to sediment deposition? Foothill, Sam. Sluice? No, we were looking for aggradation. What is the longest running game show on TV? It debuted in 1972, runs in syndication all over the country. Foothill, Sam. Wheel of Fortune? No. The Meadows, Ben. Password? No, it's the price is right. Quartz, feldspar, mica, and other minerals like basalt compose which most common form of igneous rock? Foothill, Sam. Metamorphic? No, we were looking for granite. We're out of time. Let's find out who won. And our final score, Foothill with 20 points to the Meadows, 160. We want to say thank you to both teams for a really good match, and congratulations to the Meadows for the win. We invite you to tune in next week. Liberty will be taking on Palo Verde. It's sure to be another exciting match of Varsity Quiz right here on Vegas PBS.